What's up, what's up, what's up, it's Malik. So if you've been rocking with me for a minute, you probably seen my video of Haircut from Hell. If you have, you can just click on my face right now. You can go in the link in the description. It'll be there. So I have another bad haircut story, and this one happened like five days ago. So my friend hits me up, he's like, hey, do you wanna go to this you thing that my church is having? And I'm like, yeah, sure, cool. So we in the car, you know, vibing to Kanye, and he's in the car rambling about how there's gonna be free ICs, a basketball tournament, and free haircuts. Now when he said haircuts, I was like, you know, I can use a little touch up because you know my hair is looking like pure and honest struggle right now So we pull up to the scene, you know, the vibe is cool, the music's playing, people are lit, all that I see where they have their free haircut so I go sit in the little pop-up shop that they have Now they had two black barbers and two white lady barbers I was waiting on the black barbers because, you know So I'm waiting for like a smooth 15 minutes and the black barbers are still occupied with some other kids But one of the white ladies' chairs was free and she was begging me to come in her chair Like I had said no like four times but she don't know how to listen I told her nicely, I was like, ma'am, I'm waiting on two guys over here, I can wait, like I'm fine. And you know what she did? She grabs me by my hand and puts me in the chair. She was like, I'm pretty sure I can do what you want me to do. And so I tell her, you know, fade my size and put the little part on the side of my head like I always have. She's like, oh yeah, that should be a piece of cake. She like a cool five minutes in the cut of my hair and she's like, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I don't really cut many heads like this. So please be completely honest with me on how this comes out. Translation, hey, homeboy, look. I really don't even know how to cut black hair, so just sit down and relax while I eat these clippers across your head. When she said that, my soul dropped because I just knew when she was on me, I was just about to look completely stupid. She finishes up and she hands me the mirror, and I'm, bro, I'm trying my hardest to fight back tears. This is what it looked like. So cry if you need to, but I can't stay to watch you. That's the I looked at her and I was like, you told me to be completely honest with you on the outcome of this, and I was like, this is honestly so bad, and I just walked out. I kept my hat on throughout the whole church event. Like, I couldn't even pay attention to what the pastor was talking about because I was just thinking about how bad my friends gonna light me up when I get to school. I get home later that night and my parents just laugh. Like, my dad was just firing me up, just throwing, just throwing that flame. I just had to sit there and take it. Now the next day comes around, I have to go to school. So I choose out the hat and praise nobody asked me why I have it on. I get to school and I tell one of my friends what happened. And you know what he did? He took off my hat in front of everybody. So I punched him so hard in the chest that the shoulder blades clapped. I was so pissed, like, why the hell would you do that? Like, I told you I was gonna show you later. So why the hell would you pull it off when we got baddies over there in the corner? Like, I don't want them to see me in this state. I'm in a state of distress. Like, I, I'm not a, I'm not 100% right now. I'm like at 30. He wanted to be difficult, so that's why he in that chair right now trying to catch his breath. All this week, I just began fired up left and right. Like, somebody told me like, the other day that I look like a middle-aged Mr. T. Most of my teachers, you know, they understand my struggle, and they let me keep my hat on during class. So, like, shouts out to y'all. But going through the halls and, like, trying to get to, like, class to class was a struggle. In my school, we're not allowed to wear a hat, so I've been playing this game called Dodge the Principal for a couple days. And I've been winning so far because I've only been asked to take off my hat twice. In like three or four days, I'll be going to school with it. So, and moral of the story is please do not betray your barber. If you got a regular barber that you go to every week or every two weeks or however often you get your hair cut, go to them. Do not trust any other barber out here. They're not to be trusted, all right? They're gonna play tic tac toe on your head like they did mine. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my story. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to like 120 likes. Go subscribe to my collab channel and my vlog channel. The links is gonna be in the description below. Go follow me on all my social media. And uh, yeah, until next time, deuces.